In this uh, screencast, uh, we'll consider this problem. For n equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, draw all the binary trees with n nodes that satisfy the balance requirement of AVO trees. And this is the problem from Anani Levitin's excellent uh, textbook introduction to the design and analysis of algorithms, second edition, and in my paperback version. Uh, this problem is given in exercise 2a on page 222. So let's um, uh, generalize this problem and uh, ask ourselves uh, this question. Um, can we write a, a Python program that uh, generates all AVL trees with n nodes automatically? Right. Well, a Python program or a program in any other uh, programming language uh, that you may like better than Python. So this is uh, this is a rather interesting problem. So uh, let's talk about the balance requirement of AVL trees just to review for those of you who may not be familiar um, with it. And for those of you who are familiar with it, this is just going to be a quick review. So uh, this is the root of the tree. So uh, let's... Um, draw this tree, right? This is the root, this is the left child, this is the right child, right? Or the left subtree with one node and the right subtree with one node. So the height of the left child is zero, right? Because the height of the uh, tree uh, uh, with just one node is zero by definition and the height of the right child is also zero. So the balance factor of a node, uh, of the root node, of, of any node is the difference um, between the heights of the left tree and the right subtree, right? The left subtree and the right subtree. In this case, it's 0 minus 0 equals 0. So let's change our tree uh, and uh, draw it like this. So there is the left subtree with one node and no right subtree. Okay, so let's erase this and uh, spell out uh, the balance factor for clarity. Let's write it bell factor, balance factor. Okay, so the height of this, uh, of the left subtree is uh, zero, and the height of the empty tree is by definition equal, uh, equals minus one. Okay, so, uh, so the balance factor of the root is uh, zero, right? the left height minus the right height, minus, minus 1, and uh, this is equal to 1. Okay. All right, let's uh, draw this tree, right? So the left subtree uh, has two nodes and the right subtree uh, of, the, of the root is empty. So the height of the leaf is 0, the height of this node is 1, and uh, the height of the right subtree, let's draw it like this, the empty subtree of the root is minus 1. So the balance factor of the root node is uh, the height of the left, which is 1, minus 1, minus, minus 1 is equal to Okay, so uh, the AVL balance uh, requirement requires that each and every node in a binary tree uh, has uh, the balance factors equal to 0, uh, minus 1, or plus 1. Okay, so the balance factor of the leaf is 0, the balance factor of this is 1, but the balance factor of the root is 2, so this is not an AVL tree. So in an AVL tree, just to reiterate, the balance factor of each and every node must be equal to 0 or plus 1 or minus 1. Otherwise, otherwise it's not an AVL tree. Okay, so the general solution to this problem, right, well, one solution to, uh, one solution strategy to this problem is to uh, auto-generate all binary uh, trees with n nodes, and then um, uh, of those, from those, select um, uh, those trees that satisfy the AVL uh, 
balance requirement, right? So compute uh, the balance uh, factors of uh, uh, every node in the tree, check if um, each balance factor is equal to 0, minus 1, or plus 1, and then if that is the case, then that's the AVO tree. Um, and uh, we, can, we can return it. Now, so let's say, how do we generate, uh, let's consider question number one, how do we generate all binary trees with n nodes? Obviously, we need a root, but once we have the root, then we must somehow distribute the remaining n minus 1 nodes between the left child and the right child. So, for example, we can have n minus 1 nodes go into the left subtree of the root, in which case we have zero nodes in the right subtree, right? Well, uh, empty, the right subtree is empty, or we can have, um, let's say, n minus 2 nodes go into the left subtree of the root, and uh, in this case, we must have one uh, node go into the uh, right subtree, or we can have uh, n minus 3 nodes go into the left uh, and uh, in this case, since it has to sum up to n minus 1, we have two nodes in the right uh, subtree. And we can continue uh, decreasing the number of nodes in the left subtree and increasing the number of nodes in the right subtree until we have the empty left subtree and then um, n minus 1 nodes in the, in the right subtree. So let's um, write ourselves a simple formula, or a table, if you will. So the left column is the number of nodes in the left subtree, and the right column is the number of nodes in the right subtree. So if um, we have um, n minus 1 minus i nodes in the left, then we must have i nodes in the right subtree, and i must be uh, greater than or equal than 0. Okay, that's the lower bound for the i, and it has to be less than or equal to n minus 1, because the number of nodes in the left and the right subtrees must be equal to n minus 1. Okay. So uh, that's question. Uh, uh, so how do we uh, how do we um, uh, do this programmatically? Well, we can uh, for i from zero up to n minus one, we can generate. Um, well, okay, we can okay we can we can s uh, create a root node or generate a root node. Then we can generate all uh, left. Uh, children trees with n minus one nodes, n minus one minus i nodes. This is a recursive call. Then we can also recursively generate all the right binary children trees with i nodes. And um, well, for um, each left child and uh, Let's call them LC, and for each um, right child RC, we can uh, generate oh, yield. That's the Python term used in the generators. Um, binary tree whose root is R, and uh, whose left child is LC, and uh, whose right child is RC. Okay, so this is um, uh, the generic, uh, this is a solution to um, uh, step number one, right? So, pseudocode uh, solution to step number one, or a solution, right? Um, now, let's consider uh, step number uh, 
um, uh, step number two. So let's say we have a binary tree, and uh, we can use a, a post-order traversal um, to compute the heights and uh, the balance factors of each and every node in the left child, and the heights and balance factors of each and every node in the right child. And then from then we can compute the height and uh, the corresponding balance factor of the root of the tree. Okay. And once we have those balance factors that we know, then it's uh, rather easy to uh, uh, traverse the tree and check um, if the balance factor at each node is uh, uh, zero or minus, uh, plus or minus one. So for each binary tree, use the post order traversal to compute. Uh, the heights and the uh, balance factors. And um, then check um, if the balance factors satisfy the ABL balance requirement. So that's our solution to um, um, step number two in our solution strategy.